And now we will have our children's story. So kids, come on forward and don't forget to say thank you as you collect those dollars for our youth ministry. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Ooh, that was really disappointing. Someone over here said it. Let's pretend that never happened. Let's try it again. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Oh, that sounds so much better. And you look so beautiful in all the color and diversity. This is just wonderful. Well, let me ask you this. What do you want to be when you grow up? Raise your hand and tell me, in fact, let me get this microphone. Norm, I'm going to get the green prayer mic so that we can hear the responses. Okay, Rhea, what do you want to be? Doctor, teacher, and fashion designer. Ooh, I like that. That's a good combination. What do you want to be? Baker. A baker of what sort of things? Pastries, maybe. Ooh, yes. Teacher or artist? A teacher or artist. Very good, okay. Golly. A Spanish teacher. A Spanish teacher. Wonderful. What do you want to be? A shepherd. A shepherd. That's a really great answer. Did you have your hand up or no? No, okay. Over here, come on, Carl, what do you want to be? A nurse. A nurse. Good for you. Okay, we'll get you next. An artist. An artist. That sounds great. A radiologist. Ah. Oh. So you want to work with like x-rays and MRI, a radiologist. Very good. OK. Over here. Neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon. <laughs> awesome. OK, we've got one right over here. What do you want to be when you grow up? Not sure. That's OK. Well, these are all wonderful things. You know, when I was a young boy, someone asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was about this tall at the time. And you know what I said? I said, I want to be as big as daddy. <laughs> I didn't understand what the question was asking. I just thought, well, I want to be taller. I was kind of a shorter kid at the time. And uh, in fact, I can remember when I was a young kid sitting there in the back of my parents' car with my feet on the mound, you know, in the middle seat where there's that mound on the floor. My feet were there. And I was praying, God, please help me to be tall. Help me to be grow, 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 grow. And I opened my eyes. And you know what I looked like? The same. 
I hadn't grown at all. Um, but over time, you know what? I, I definitely did pass my dad out. But later on, I was thinking, when I was in about seventh or eighth grade, I thought, I want to be a carpenter, a builder. I want to work with my hands. Does anybody else kind of like building things or making things, playing with Legos? Uh, and that led to me, when I was in high school, starting to think, well, maybe I want to be an engineer. You know, I want to design things, and I, I want to build bridges and, and buildings and, and those sorts of things. And then, I think later on in high school, I thought, actually, it's really fun to play like games on the computer. I just want to be like a video game designer or tester, <laughs> right? I just want to test video games or design them. Um, you have to do a lot of schooling if you want to do that. Uh, and then gradually, my ideas and thoughts for what I wanted to be changed. And when I was in high school, I got involved in ministry, and I saw how fun it was and how exciting it was, and eventually I became a pastor. Uh, but you know what's awesome? In the same way that we come from different nations, we come from different backgrounds and cultures and languages and food types. God doesn't want us all to be the same. He doesn't want us all to look the same. He doesn't want us all to speak the same. He doesn't want us all to dress the same. And he doesn't want us all to, be, to have the same career. Not everybody is supposed to be a pastor. Did you know that? You can love God with your whole heart, and God will call you to be a different career. I have a friend who is a plumber. Do you know any plumbers? No. My friend is a plumber, and he does as much ministry as a lot of pastors, it would seem, because he's always in people's homes, and he is fixing their plumbing and fixing their emergencies. If you've ever had a plumbing emergency, you know how important plumbers are, <laughs> especially when it's the gross kind of emergencies. <laughs> but he's in people's homes, but he's not simply doing his job as a plumber to earn money. He's also doing it to be a blessing. You know what he's doing while he's in their homes? He's fixing their plumbing, but then he's saying, hey, here's something I want you to read. Here's a loaf of bread, and here's something to read along with it. Or there's some meetings going on at this church. You would really love them. You should come check it out. So he is a minister, he is a pastor plumber. And then there are some doctors or some physical therapists. There are some people who work healing people's bodies, but they're not simply doing it for the money. Uh, they want to help people get better, but then they're also looking for ways to be a blessing and to help others know Jesus. There are people, a friend of mine, he is a software designer, or he's a, he's a graphics designer, and he was telling me about this new big project they're going to launch in the Caribbean. It's, it's a multi-million dollar thing that he's working on. And he said, but you know what? When we launch this thing, it's going to give us opportunities to be a witness for God at a really high level. Whatever passion God puts in your heart, it's not simply so that you can be really good at what you do. It's so that God can use you to be a kind of a pastor in your own career. If you're going to be a ballerina, you can minister through your ballet. If you're going to be an artist, you can use your artistic gifts for God. If you're going to be a baker or making pastries, there are ways that you can use those gifts to bring joy and to bring Jesus to people. Rhea. You can do the same, same thing with any job. That's right. Really, whatever your job is, you are kind of like an undercover agent, except we shouldn't be undercover. We are a minister for God. So as you grow up, keep pursuing the passions that God puts on your heart. Submit your plans to him. Ask God for advice where he's calling you. But remember, 
Your job is a way for you to share Jesus with others. So would somebody like to close us out with a prayer uh, as we close? Rhea, and we'll get you on the green microphone here. Pray for us, please. Dear God, thank you for the good day. Thank you that our, there are so many nations with us today. And please help us all to be in good harmony. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you, and we have a special treat as you leave.